Can you imagine a place where young people ruled the world? What would it all be like? MPs would argue about postcodes. Postmen would go on strike because they don't want to go to next ends. Teachers would probably teach against trusting your best friends. Other young people wouldn't be forced to go to school. The President of the United States would probably organize raves. Priests and imams would remix psalms. General elections would be facilitated by the one who gets the most retweets. Police officers would wear snapbacks and record beef on the streets on their Snapchats. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you guys can see where I'm going with this. The world would be a mess, apparently. But do we give those who might actually believe this nonsense any reason not to see this insanity? Because there's such a disconnect between young people and the world, which is quite ironic because we are apparently the most connected as a nation. With the ability to communicate with someone on the other side of the world with the click of one button functions concerned with technology advancing, making it easier to communicate with Making it easier to use machines rather than using common sense makes it hard to see how it makes sense common, makes them sense. Money being made by bringing a distance. In this instance, a disconnect between young people and the rest of the world. But we, young people, we don't have to fall victim to this idle system. We could rule the world one day. I mean, Really, we could rule the world. But there are not enough young people in positions of power. Why? Maybe we don't believe we actually can be. Perhaps we're not actually given the opportunity to. On the contrary, are we given opportunities and just not seeing them? Are we being made aware of these people who were giving us these opportunities and just not seizing them? Because I can't seem to get my head around who's to blame for all of this. So many questions, so much to think about and a lot to devour. But the essence of ruling is based on the assumption of power. So let's start there. Power. A person or organization who is strong and influential within a particular context. Political or social responsibility, perhaps that exerted by a government. The capacity and ability to direct others in the course of their events and devotions. The capacity at which someone or something could affect another person's emotions. You see, sometimes when we think about power, sometimes a lot of the time we think about MPs, politicians, people in positions of power. But sometimes we forget that our creativity is actually our essence in which we can use our power. For example, statistics show that one in four people or one in four young people are more likely to take advice from a celebrity than they are to from political authority. Another thing is, um, apparently, TV stars and reality TV stars are put up there in terms of influential people alongside parents and other people. So in terms of power, it's more than just having political authority. Because power is a big deal. I said power is a big deal. You don't have to wear a suit and work in an office to exert influence on others' onset. So why are young people not being introduced to this concept? After all, we are the epitome of a working society. We are the greatest ambassadors for working ideals. So why are we not given power? We have the creativity, brain capacity, mindset, time and ability to change our world. So why? Are we not given power? Perhaps this might be the answer. Hidden powers cannot be given. Our everyday superheroes use their own power within. Teachers, leaders, speakers, these are the people that are using their genius. So many young people are sitting and waiting for some sort of special ordination to be handed to them as if they can't change their situation and change the path society's taking down towards disaster. Our brain moves faster than we actually think. Apparently, 
the average human only uses up to 10% of their actual brain's capacity, which to me is absolute insanity. Why? Because that means all it takes for us to be more than average is to gain access and use that extra percent. Now, I'm not trying to bore you guys with maths, but 11% to 10 makes a massive difference. In this instance, here are some young people who are making change worldwide. Check out their story in your spare time, but for now, here's just a snippet of their lives. So the first one, 19-year-old Carl Wies. He's a young man who has a passion for soccer. Well, we call it football because we're in the UK, but he lives in America. So he has a passion for soccer. Now, he uses his passion to go into developing countries to teach young children soccer and football, well, football, so that they can come out of their natural traumas as a way of therapeutic method. The second person is Cassandra Lynn. She is the CEO of her own company. Now, this company uses grease and transforms that into biodegradable or biodiesel fuel to generate heaters for um, winter. So that generates emergency heaters in the wintertime for people in her state. Now, she's the CEO of a company that is so clean. Now, would you believe me if I told you she's only 14? The next one, who is personally my favorite, Alec Uckbark. He's a young filmmaker, and he uses film to implement education in developing nations. He's also created animations which aren't language independent for illiterate children. So for the children who didn't actually get to go to school and learn how to read and write generally, they can use that animation to change their lives. Tell me this isn't life-changing. In fact, it's actually amazing. They actually exist. Young people changing lives worldwide. But I guess this news doesn't involve violence, sex, drugs, and alcohol, so we won't make the headlines because we are not in the picture they try to frame the youth as. This is more than just a speech telling the young people to change the world. This is me telling you that you can. Imagine. In fact, what's the point imagining when we can actually make this reality? Our brains have the capacity, but there are not enough young people making this happen. This is our world just as much as it is anyone else's. So let's take a step away from Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Candy Crush, FIFA, or whatever it is that's taking our attention. Because all we're doing is helping someone else develop their passion rather than creating our own inventions. Let's take this world back to the future because there we'll all be winning. But one thought I want to leave you guys all with is hidden powers cannot be given. So be an everyday superhero. Thank you.